thinking of Germany in the night, all my sleep has taken flight. Everything is freely invented. All historical persons and events. Similarities are purely coincidental. This is not a joke, unfortunately. The judicial realism of everyday life forces this declaration. Thirty Hitler heirs have already registered their claims, and they are not all. As Hitler has never been tried, claims are the result, and we live in a lawful state. Freed in this way from similarities in the portrayal of persons and events, and without the cramped four walls of the so-called realism of this world, we are thereby free for a law court according to our own rules in our self-chosen universe, and can send him, that Hitler, at last for trial by us with the means available to us. But how is this world different from us who are making this film, who portray it and look at it? This world and I, myself, and my film. Bursting sunspots of the ego in the cosmos of hard cuts. Fragments of an inner projection. Memories of our old universe in the black studio of our imagination. Full of lonely marionettes of human beings, changing figurines of the ego. Endless material for monologues, monoplays, and tragedies on celluloid. Dances of death, dialogues of death, dialogues in the land of the dead. A hundred years afterwards, a thousand years, millions. Passion plays, oratories, who knows? But how shall one, how shall I, how shall we, who am I, who are we, who acts us, and for whom are we acting, and what for? What remains? Everything again, all together, the remnants of a lost culture and of a lost life, of our Europe before its collapse. A farewell to the Occident, subspecie eternitatis and everything on film, our new chance. The story of the death of the old lights from which we lived and our culture a distant song. An artificial light now in the black inside of our film fantasies before our inner eye. The echo of music in our ear growing more and more distant. And Halloween is interesting, I think he has the music in his works. And Wagner needed the notes and the instruments. But Halloween, I think, needs instruments too. The voice, the speaking voice, it's very poor to read it only. To hear his uh, poem um, read by Heidegger, I prefer to an actor, to a normal actor. Maybe uh, the room, to do it like we did that. It was an empty stage, and uh, in the middle of the stage only the model of an ancient Greek theatre. Because this table here, high like that, we had rebuilt it. Uh, it was um, 
rebuilt the scenery of Delphi. And that was alone on stage where she could go around, stay here, stay there, look at it, behind. That is very helpful for, the, for this poesy. But only with a book. Yes, sometimes yes, but normally not. I think it's, it's a note. The, all this written text of Helen is a note for something else. One should do something with it. But that is different. That's difficult. How, who, where. Today it's not it's not even a, a subject for any artist to deal with it. Not on, on, on picture, not in poems, not nothing. It's nothing. It's only a dirty uh, dirtiness. Uh, you could only cry uh, and take some water in the middle of the room and the glass in an installation of a museum and put around some pictures uh, maybe of uh, Hitler time but that is today uh, not laughed but there you see the nature and in this glass you see the nature 50 60 years later and you can think about that and the war and that took today for that I think uh, the rivers are good but they have no poetical um, power today, I think, these big ones of Helen. Why is it that they don't? Why? Yeah, why is it that they don't have that power? Yes, because of how we are gone up from then. Today they are very far from some kind of broadness or person or musical uh, uh, impact. They are really part of our day life machine of life.
maybe it was uh, the result of Helgelin in a Wagnerian uh, style. Um, I was not there, I know it only from pictures and films and from. Um, I think it's a um, certain kind of misunderstanding too. I think so. I think it's very lonesome that to be there. Maybe a very good scenery for a film, for crime scenes or something like that. With love together, but it must be blood and water. Blood in it. So, like in Bayreuth on stage. Uh, but to have Greek theatre in our life, I think the best is on stage like we did, as a little model, not too small, but in a, then very, very precise made, full in light. And if you then hear the words of Erlewin together with this empty stage and seeing this piece, this model of Greece, then you have it. You have what he means. But if you rebuild it in our landscape, it cannot happen because it's so different. And of course, if you go there with the poems, Greece and uh, it will not, it will not uh, uh, function um, his work there, because it was a projection. It was not real uh, uh, Greece. So when he speaks about the machines, there's a certain part that's very interesting about the spirit of the machines. I was just last week in Dresden to speak in front of some students, and so I quoted this part without saying where from and at what, from what time. They couldn't believe. And immediately they took it to make uh, copies. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they couldn't believe it? Oh, they thought of, her, of, 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 her, of, of Heidegger so different. And I, I was astonished too, um, because he spoke about the spirit of machines, not a uh, damnation. But of course, the right use of the spirit and to know it. That's my problem too. See, we can make our poems today and have our music today, but of course not um, with the camera in the water closets. 
that the people see on screen, what other people do, do in the same moment on the water closet. That's not the spirit of our machines. So it's interesting when 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 uh, um, Gorbachev and Shevardnadze decided to agree to the reunification of Germany. They did it because they thought Germany should be together. It is a, a very powerful. Um, spiritual country of Europe and so on. It was a little bit sad because it was not like that as they thought. Even these uh, functionaries of the East thought of Germany in a traditional way that doesn't exist anymore. And um, so they always waited for some old Germany. <laughs> as a friend again, but it was a friend, or is a friend again, but not that old Germany, it's another Germany. And this Germany, uh, yes, in one hand it's a uh, good friend to everyone today, and it's uh, of course not so strong but weak, but on the other hand it lost certain things, maybe Halloween too, and Heidegger. Jetzt komme Feuer. Begierig sind wir zu schauen den Tag. Und wenn die Prüfung ist durch die Knie gegangen, mag einer spüren das Waldgeschrei. Wir singen aber vom Indus her, fern angekommen und vom Alpheus. Lange haben das Schickliche wir gesucht. Nicht ohne Schwingen mag zum Nächsten einer greifen geradezu und kommen auf die andere Seite. Wir aber wollen wir bauen, denn Ströme machen urbar das Land. Wenn nämlich die Kräuter wachsen und an denselben gehen im Sommer zu trinken die Tiere, so gehen auch Menschen daran. Man nennt aber diesen den Ister. Schön wohnt er. Es brennet der Säulenlaub und reget sich. Wild stehen sie aufgerichtet untereinander. Darob ein zweites Maß springt vor von Felsen das Dach. So wundert mich nicht, dass er den Herkules zu Gast geladen, fernglänzend am Olympus drunten, da der sich Schatten zu suchen, vom heißen Isthmus kam, denn voll des Mutes waren da selbst sie. Es bedarf aber der Geister wegen der Kühlung auch. 
Darum zog jener lieber an die Wasserquellen hierher und gelben Ufer, hochduftend oben und schwarz vom Fichtenwald, wo in den Tiefen ein Jäger gern Lust wandelt mittags und Wachstum hörbar ist an harzigen Bäumen des Isters. Der scheinet aber fast rückwärts zu gehen, und ich mein, er müsse kommen von Osten. Vieles wäre zu sagen davon. Und warum hängt er an den Bergen grad? Der andere, der Rhein, ist seitwärts hinweggegangen. Umsonst nicht gehen im Trocknen die Ströme. Aber wie? Sie sollen nämlich zur Sprache sein. Ein Zeichen braucht es, nichts anderes, schlecht und recht, damit es Sonn und Mond trag im Gemüt, untrennbar und fortgeh Tag und Nacht auch, und die Himmlischen warm sich fühlen aneinander. Darum sind jene auch die Freude des Höchsten. Denn wie käme er sonst herunter? Und wie härter grün sind sie die Kinder des Himmels. Aber allzu geduldig scheint der mir nicht freier und fast zu spotten. Nämlich wenn angehen soll der Tag in der Jugend, wo er zu wachsen anfängt, es treibet ein anderer da hoch schon die Pracht und füllen gleich in den Zaun knirscht er und weithin hören das Treiben die Lüfte, ist der betrübt. Es brauchet aber Stiche der Fels und Furchen die Erde. Unwirtbar wär es ohne Weile. Was aber jener tuet der Strom, weiß niemand. <lacht>